So you're thinking about moving to Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, and you're looking for somebody that's gonna give you the straight scoop. Somebody that's gonna get real with it. Give you the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, the yin and the yang of living here. Well, in today's video, we're gonna discuss the pros and the cons of living right here in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. So you are informed and prepared to move to the area. And we're gonna get real with it right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in central Pennsylvania, including right here in Camp Hill, click subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to know about the current market right here in central PA. My name is Aaron, Josh, the team and I, we get calls and emails all the time from people just like you looking to make their move to the area. So whether you're moving now or in six months from now, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. You can even schedule a Zoom call. All of our information is in the description below. That way we can help you make a smooth move to the area. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the pros and cons of living here in Camp Hill, Pennsylvania. Now here at the Living in Central PA team, it's our top goal for our business and for this channel to keep you educated and prepared when you are ready to make a move. There are so many things to worry about when you're buying a home or selling a home. And the more unbiased information that we can provide for you, the more prepared you're gonna feel and the more you're gonna trust us and wanna pick up that phone and call Aaron or myself or anybody at our team when the time is right for you to move. With that said, if Camp Hill is your area of destination and that's where you're moving, these are the top pros and cons of this area as we see them. We're gonna start with our number one pro, which is great location. Starting things off with our list of pros is Camp Hill's great location. Camp Hill is located about five minutes from downtown Harrisburg, five minutes from Mechanicsburg, close to major highways like 81, 83, maybe a three minute drive down the road. You have access to any major big box, big brand store that you would want on the Carlisle Pike, the Capital City Mall, which we just showed you. There's a Dave and Buster's over there, a big Walmart and tons of retail over there. Uh, and you're just moments away from these beautiful neighborhoods here, uh, right off of Market Street. So Market Street is this street behind me, and that's a major artery going through Camp Hill. There are so many quaint little shops and retail spots and restaurants. I'm at one of my favorite now, Cornerstone Coffee House here on Market Street, enjoying one of their kale smoothies. A uh, shout out to my people at Cornerstone. Uh, I, we always love it here. But again, Market Street, if you take it east five minutes, you'll cross the Market Street Bridge. You'll be in downtown Harrisburg. So if you're commuting to any of the, the Commonwealth state jobs or uh, law firms or any of the businesses down in downtown, you're five minutes. Five minutes west, you're on the Carlisle Pike and all the major re retail out there and all the uh, corporate offices out there on the Carlisle Pike. And of course, Mechanicsburg, close to the major highways, close to the hospitals, close to schools. That is why pro number one is location here in Camp Hill. Pro number two of living here in Camp Hill is gonna be the Camp Hill Schools. Camp Hill School District is known for its high quality education and top rated schools, making it an attractive option for families with children. Camp Hill School District has an A rating and ranked as the number two school in Cumberland County with niche.com. Greatschools.org gives it an eight out of 10. Cumberland Valley is an A rating and ranked number one best school in Cumberland County. And lastly is Cedar Cliff High School. That's ranked B with niche.com and a student teacher ratio of 16 to one. And that's why we bring schools as number two pro of living in Camp Hill. Pro number three is Camp Hill's community spirit. Camp Hill has a great community atmosphere and there's numerous gatherings and events throughout the year that bring the community together. There are seasonal gatherings such as the Harvest Hop, which we just had this past weekend on Market Street featuring pumpkin paintings, a beer garden and live music. The Candy Cane Walk during the Christmas season, which features 
a visit from Santa and Mrs. Claus and also uh, live holiday music. There's also a community tree lighting, the spring fling. There's also a great farmer's market right here in the parking lot of Camp Hill Lutheran Church, uh, which is from May to October, bringing the finest produce from all over the region here to the residents of Camp Hill. There's also a permanent farmer's market uh, down on market, which we're gonna show you later, which operates Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, every single week, a large indoor farmer's market with amazing vendors. We're gonna show that to you soon. So again, all in all, Camp Hill is a wonderful place where the neighbors know each other, they support each other. There's a number of business mixing events throughout the year, promoting these wonderful small businesses and so many fun things to do, which is why at the three spot of our pro list is community spirit. here at the West Shore Farmers Market in Camp Hill. This is one of my favorite farmers markets. We've shown you video from the Broad Street Market over in Midtown Harrisburg. This is my favorite West Shore Farmers Market. This is an enclosed indoor market. Uh, there's two levels we'll show you all around. There's some great shops here. Open Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday every week. Uh, folks come here for lunch. They come here to get their produce and their meats and fish for the week. So come on in and we'll show you a little bit around. We're also gonna do some canvassing today because we got to hit all our marketing uh, bullet points uh, to get some things on their cork board to show them who the real experts are in central Pennsylvania when it comes to real estate. You guys already know. Come on, let's take a look. All right, pro number four of living in here in Camp Hill is gonna be the beautiful parks it has to offer. Camp Hill features numerous parks and green spaces, including Negley Park, which offers scenic view of the Susquehanna River and is perfect for outdoor activities. Seabird Park, which we talked about in our last video. Seabird Park is a 60 acre municipal park owned by Camp Hill Borough. The park features pavilions, fishing, boating, hiking, and biking. It also has a playground, an athletic field, running track, swimming pool, and basketball, volleyball, and tennis courts. For meetings and parties, rent the Camp Hill Education Environment and Recreation Center, a large cabin-like structure in the park. There's also hiking, wooded half mile out and back trail that leads to the Conaguinnet Creek. Access to the Conaguinnet Creek parking for boaters is provided along Creek Road at the lower end of the park. Number three, Willow Park is where we're at right now in downtown Camp Hill. Features a nature preserve, picnic tables, pavilions, stream access, bird watching, gazebos, gardens, benches, and hiking and biking trail. So that's why it's number four on our list of pros of living in Camp Hill. So finishing up our list of pros for Camp Hill is gonna be the crime and safety here. Camp Hill is known for its low crime rate contributing to the overall security and safety of the community. Camp Hill receives an a rating on niche.com as well as being rated the number one best place to live in Cumberland County. Number one in all of Cumberland County, which is a vast county here, based on niche.com. 
Uh, it also gives it an A rating in the general crime and safety category. Now, really, uh, I know that might not mean a lot to you coming from just the website statistics, but walking around this community, showing homes in this community, listing homes in this community as we have, you get to know the, the, the nature of the, the residents here. People can leave their doors open, they look out for one another, and there's just a general attitude here uh, which is free from the worries of crime. Uh, I'm standing here in front of the uh, Camp Hill Police Department, who does a wonderful job servicing this community, and that is why it's on our list. I would even consider it not being the fifth pro, but maybe being arguably one of the most important, which a lot of these residents would probably agree with. It's one of the main reasons people are moving here to Camp Hill. So again, crime and safety, A-plus ratings across the board, wonderful police force, great community here, and that is why it's on our list of pros. So we're switching over to our list of cons now, and I'll be honest with you, it's hard to find cons in Camp Hill, which is a good thing. Uh, but all place has their pros and cons, right? So we kind of had to dig deep for these and kind of pull them out of our butt. But nonetheless, number one is going to be the cost of living and property taxes in Camp Hill. The cost of living in Camp Hill is slightly higher than the national average, particularly when it comes to housing prices. The median home value in Camp Hill is $320,000, okay? $320,000 in Camp Hill versus the county average for median home price being $230,000. So the Cumberland County home median value average is $230,000. So you almost have a $100,000 jump uh, in, the, uh, in the home value, specifically in Camp Hill. Uh, that's gonna raise your property taxes. But again, after, after showing you some of the great things about Camp Hill, the safety, the community atmosphere, the accessibility, the beauty of the community, that might be worth it to you. It's worth it to many people that we work with, that's for sure. Now, the national home average is 308. So again, not so much of a discrepancy there versus the national average, but still quite a bit above it. Um, so as such, property taxes are going to be higher and municipal taxes are going to be higher. But again, on the flip side of that, you've got a really strong municipal system in Camp Hill. Uh, be it the police force, uh, the folks that you know take care of the parks and street cleaning and, and garbage pickup, uh, community watch, all, all that sort of thing. You're really dealing with a top-notch municipal service. Uh, the exception to these higher tax rates would be in Hampton Township, in the neighboring township to, to Camp Hill, where you can enjoy lower taxes than, than inside of the borough and still have those same amenities and beautiful neighborhoods. So again, number one con for Camp Hill is going to be cost of living and property taxes. Con number two is going to be traffic here in Camp Hill. Right now I'm standing right by the Camp Hill Bypass where 11 and 15 split. We've talked about 11 and 15 a lot. Uh, just down the road here, 15 continues south to Gettysburg, and then 11 continues on to Carlisle. There's also ramps for 83 and 81 down here, and a couple major intersections, about eight point intersections between here uh, and the end of the uh, concourse here. Sorry, we're getting a little bit of rain here, but that does not stop us from hitting the pavement at the Living in Central PA team. But uh, we wanted to show you kind of what uh, a, a Friday afternoon rush hour looks like here in Camp Hill. Uh, you've got the Camp Hill Bypass, Market Street, Trindle Road, all major arteries running through Camp Hill and Mechanicsburg. And of course, 11 and 15, 83, 81, a lot of convergence happening here in Camp Hill. Camp Hill is not very large in terms of surface area, and it's surrounded by uh, much larger cities like Harrisburg, Mechanicsburg, uh, and such. So that's what it looks like here. So prepare yourself for, for the con of, of traffic if you are moving here to Camp Hill and a little bit of rain. Number three on our list of cons for Camp Hill is going to be limited nightlife. I hate to break it to you, uh, but just hold on. Don't get scared just yet. While there are a number of great dining options and cute little boutique shops and places like that that we saw that are great during the day in the afternoon, the nightlife that you're looking for, like the bar, the club scene, the live music scene, you're going to have to go to Harrisburg or Hershey, Lancaster, York for more of that. As a matter of fact, Camp Hill Borough up until 2017 was actually a dry town ever since its inception. Again, don't get scared off. That has changed. The, the residents, uh, you know, uh, came together and uh, amended that, uh, certainly to bring in more business and to grow the community. So you've got great places. 
uh, in and around Camp Hill. Uh, places like Dave & Buster's, which is in Lower Allen Township over by the Capital City Mall. You've got Brew House and Flinchies, also in Lower Allen Township, some great neighborhood spots. Uh, you also have Sierra Madre, which we showed you before, which is a great, great Mexican place, has great food and a great party atmosphere, particularly for Cinco de Mayo. So there's plenty of stuff to do between Lower Allen Township and the Carlisle Pike, um, but particularly in Camp Hill Borough, you're gonna have to travel outside there to really uh, get some of the exciting nightlife that you might want. Um, so again, number three, limited nightlife in Camp Hill Borough, but not to worry, there's plenty of stuff going on in and around, so that's it. Our fourth and final con in Camp Hill is going to be the job market. Uh, Camp Hill is close to Harrisburg, so that can supplement the lack of job opportunities in Camp Hill Borough particularly, but again, Camp Hill is mostly made up of small mom and shop businesses and homes, neighborhoods. So the corporate centers, the large office buildings, the medical practices, the attorney's offices, there, there's some in Camp Hill, but for the most part, if you're looking to work in the public sector or a major corporation, you're looking to go to Mechanicsburg, Harrisburg, uh, or further. Um, and again, those are easy commutes. We talked earlier, five minutes on either, either direction of Market Street and you're in either of those job centers. So not to worry, um, but we thought we wanted to bring it to your attention that the job market was more limited in Camp Hill due to its size uh, and the way that it's designed. So that is number four in our list of cons, the job market. All right, so that's gonna wrap things up for our pros and cons video here in Camp Hill. We hope you found it informative. We hope that it showed you the quintessential elements of what make Camp Hill such a great area. I love it here, I always have. It's a great tight-knit community just from this street that I'm standing on here. I'm within walking distance of everything we've shown you, including the schools, businesses, Market Street, uh, and, and so many other things. So if you have questions about moving to Camp Hill, reach out to us. If you have suggestions for content for our channel, please let us know. We always like to hear new suggestions. I will mention that we do have an upcoming video based on a suggestion uh, of the fall experience here in Central Pennsylvania, which is my favorite season here in in Harrisburg. Uh, a lot going on during the fall. We're going to show you a little fall video in conjunction with a buying and selling guide for those of you who are, are in the unique position of buying and selling a home at the same time. A lot of pressure and there's a lot of information that we can help you navigate your way through that process and of course uh, as always we are here to help in any way that we can. I'm Josh Krebsky, Aaron, the team and I, we wish you all the best in your move to Central Pennsylvania, and we look forward to working with you.